everyone welcome to my channel um, if you are new here my name is Sarah from Sarah scraps you can find all of my social media links below I am an ambassador for click kits and I love paper so <laughs> you will find card process videos you'll find hauls you will find layout chairs you'll find scrapbooking in both 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11 um, travelers notebooks pretty much if it's paper documenting I do it so I am working with one of the amazing cup files that Erica is offering free from now through Sunday till September 9th um, and you can find all of the information to download those free cut files and use them on her channel on her YouTube channel uh, so I went ahead and I cut on my silhouette both the word celebrate and then I did an offset and now I am backing my the word, letters in the cut files with paper I'm using papers from primarily the Fancy Pants Magnolia Moments collection, which is part, which is an add-on item that I received in my click kit. And then the rest of the products are mostly from the Traveler's Notebook uh, from September's click kit. Um, so I am doing a little bit of a different celebration layout today. I'm doing an 8.5 by 11 layout and I am celebrating my son's first job, which he did last summer. He did a wonderful job. He even earned a bonus. Uh, he really, really did a fabulous job. And so I wanted to create this album or this layout for his personal album that where I'm going to talk about his job and how I felt about him uh, doing his job. So I went ahead through and I backed my cut file and then I decided that I wanted to make my celebrate funner with more celebratory elements. So every third letter I used one of these Love and Lemon Craft alphabet stickers. I backed them with more of the paper and I love how the title turned out. I think it turned out exactly the way that I wanted it. Kind of fun and really nice. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have an idea, a design plan for my page. I know that I want to take kind of three of these 6x6 six six papers that I used for my title and I want to make three kind of triangular pieces poking into my page. And then that's where I'm, and then on those triangular pieces is where I'm going to add my title and my photo and my journaling and just all the fun good things that you do on a scrapbook layout. So I decide on this black and white pattern for the top and then the pattern coming out to the side is going to be these houses and then I'm going to use that wood grain for the third little area that I want to kind of come in from the side. Uh, so my son's first job was at Goodwill. Uh, he worked in the donation center where they uh, go through all the donations that people have left and they kind of clean them up or if they can easily fix them they fix them or you know decide on prices and and things like that so that was his job so he had lots of home goods and and things coming through uh, that he had to sort through and carry and lift and different things and so I knew that some of these icons in the die cut pack the ephemera pack that was in the magnolia moments collection would be perfect for uh, this layout because it really kind of says something about his job and what he was doing there. So I'm going to go ahead and use these last two 6x6 six six papers. I trimmed my photo down to 4x4 four four, and so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of gallery mat these which means I'm going to mat, I'm going to cut the light paper into four and a quarter by four and a quarter and then the larger darker paper by four and a half into four and a half by four and a half and that's going to give me nice even mats around my photo and then just again because this is a celebration uh, so I want to have that kind of fun um, angles and different things so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of offset the dark mat and just kind of cock my photo ever so slightly and I'm going to place it pretty much right there yep and we're going to start embellishing and deciding where I want my different things, to, different elements to go onto my page. I know I want my title up there and um, 
I am going to end up using pop dots to kind of pop it up. I thought about, I'm trying to decide if I want to push it down or push it up, but what I end up doing is I end up deciding how I want my clusters to be and then going from there. So I know that I want to use that today to do my journaling. And I love these craft tags that came in the kit from Jelly Bean Soup. But I don't necessarily need it to say, I don't want it to say anything, so I'm gonna kinda of cover it up and just leave it as layers behind my photos, or behind my journaling. Um, so I'm just gonna go through here, and I've, some of these die cuts I've chosen and I know what I wanna do. Initially, I had kind of felt like I wanted to do some of these fun kinda of manly flowers um, that are in there, but I changed my mind completely. I totally changed it up because I decide that I'm never going to find another page where something like the span or um, the old style telephone is going to be relevant to what I'm talking about <laughs> than this page. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have those embellishments and I have those icons and that they actually work with what I'm talking about and what um, what the layout's about. They actually work and I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to go through all of the die cut pack. This is the Magnolia Moments die cut pack and it is chock full of die cuts. So many die cuts. If you're uh, new to my channel, go back in and watch my unboxing of this click kit <laughs> because I remember when I was doing the unboxing, I'm like, these die cuts never end. Like, there's so many of them. So if you're looking for a nice die cut pack, that's a good one. Um, so I'm just tucking things in, deciding which ones I want to do. I am currently searching the pile for this telephone because I know for a fact that there's a telephone in this die cut pack. <laughs> and I know that there will never be another time, better time or more appropriate time for me to use it than this layout. So now I have all of these die cuts exactly where I want them, and I'm going to take some Vintage Photo Distress ink. I'm going to ink all of the die cut pieces up, and then place them in their clusters. I've also added some flare. This flare is um, was part of the Click Kit September kit. It was an add-on, but it was designed by Lacey Gasper, who is Lacey Bug Design Creations. Lacey Bug Creations on Etsy. She has a beautiful shop with tons of gorgeous flair. And one of the prizes that you can win through this YouTube hop is a $15 gift certificate to her Etsy shop and you can get some beautiful flair for yourself. There's also a gift certificate to Click Kits, a $25 gift certificate to Click Kits up for grabs. And then Erica has also donated a prize pack um, worth, of, worth $50 of just lots of scrapbooking goodies. So it's like a little grab bag of amazingness. Uh, so make sure that you are subscribed to Erica's channel and comment along the hop and then you can be entered to win. So you just have to be a subscriber to Erica's channel and then comment all along the hop on everybody's videos. So it's gonna be amazing. So many prizes, so much fun. Um, I'm super happy with how my layout turned out for this hop and um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this title piece now that I wanna use. I'm gonna pull off all of the foam squares and I'm going to make it crooked and then I'm going to have to go back and pull it all up and make it straight again and I don't remember if I left that part in the video or not but if you're looking at it going it's way crooked it is indeed and at some point I figured that out and I put it back in I'm just going to tack this um, the string for the tag down with some Nuvo Deluxe adhesive and I'm going to hold it there for long enough till I feel like I can pick my finger up and the and the little tail of the tag isn't going to go flying into everywhere. And so now I think it's time for titling and journaling. And yes. So my full title is going to be Celebrate Little Victories. Um, because for my son, this this job that he did was was a victory. It was a big accomplishment. He did such a good job. I was so scared and so nervous for him. I just wasn't sure. You know, was he going to be okay? Was he going to have a meltdown? Was he going to be able to keep it together? <laughs> so many questions, right? Um, and yeah, so I did cut out the part where I had to fix my title. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. So our title is on there now and ready to go. And now I'm just going to put summer 2017 because this was last summer that he uh, took this job and, and did it. And then um, I'm going to grab some sequins. I have these what would be a celebration layout without sequins, right? Am I right? And so I have these sequins that have this like nice calm like matte black finish and they work they go really well with this the colors and with this layout so um, they are not too jarring but they still give that idea of like celebration and and fun and they're just really nice a neutral color and um, yeah they have these matte black sequins which I've I'm kind of like a sequin guru, guru, guys, and I've never seen matte black sequins, but they're pretty awesome. And now we'll add just the last finishing touches to my layout. Be sure to hop along and go visit everybody on this YouTube hop. There are so many amazing YouTubers, so many amazing designs, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!